Hello and welcome once again to some more Tour de France 2021. Today we have got stage six of Le Tour de France. Uh, Van Aert leading the way with the yellow jersey. Can we hold it today? Two intermediate sprints as well. Some wind that could pose a problem, but I think we'll be all right. The main Wait thing the to grasp principle. today Here we is go. that the route is flat and without any difficulties. But be on your guard as the wind can lead to Bordeaux. As we've got the leader's jersey, we'll have to shoulder our responsibilities and set the pace in the peloton. But the main opponent today is the wind. Don't get caught out. We can aim for the podium and maybe even more if all goes our way. Have a good stage, guys. Go, go. So, you know, the, the thing is, we don't want to go too much today because there's three very important stages coming up we've got a reasonably hilly stage our first second class climb with a bonus point um or bonus time uh coming up next time out and then we've got two very very hilly stages that are going to be absolute leg breakers for uh for some of the mountain riders obviously we've got a reasonably flat one after that to, to look after ourselves but we're, we're getting into the meat of the tour now and we don't want to throw it all away. We're in a very, very good position. So we're not going to panic. We're just going to go with our usual method, get Bennett in the breakaway, and see what comes of it. But uh, if there are borders, potentially, there's an opportunity for some time there. But the, the, the real opportunities for time will come in the next three stages. So let's not be tempted in by it. Let's get into the, the stage. And uh, have a little look at the conditions of all the folks uh, so far. Let's have a look. So we've got uh, Rog Lich, Van Aert, uh, Koos. I mean, everybody's looking all right. Obviously, I think we've just had a rest day, haven't we? Um, so it, it makes sense that one all right Bennett is 11th in the in the general classification I still can't believe that he's he's having a fantastic time of it um he really is so what can I alter so I can alter some of the uh objectives so let's go for join the early breakaway for him uh leader in the general classification that's just not gonna happen um, just a teammate for him. Uh, ch -ch -ch. yeah, I think he should be that teammate for him. Teammate for him. I mean, Kuss, yeah, potentially, yeah, you know, is is already out of the Tour de France. He had a a bad time trial. Um, and it's whether we sort of leave Bennett to his own devices this time and go with Cus potentially for the breakaway. Or well, we could go with both of them. Hello and, they can and help welcome each other. to all. With no classified difficulties along the route, a mass sprint seems to be the logical outcome of this stage. However, with wind forecast on the second half of the route, it's highly likely that the splintered Pelton will enter Chateau. That's good enough, lads. There's no way we can lose the green jersey today. It's good. Good stuff. It's always nice, isn't it? Right, let's get... Uh, who did we want? We want Nakus to, to go. Let's get him attacking. Okay. I'll put in a big acceleration. Well, no, I'm not going to, actually. Just because I remember somebody saying, you know, he's going to be good for protecting. He's going to be good for protecting in the mountain stages. Now, I, I agree with that. Um, we don't want to go all out today. We really don't. So. Yeah, we will see what we can do here. Is there going to be an early breakaway? Is there not? Yep, there is. Angel there you go. Up at the head of the peloton. I'll stick with him. And 
than that is a reasonably successful get out. Look at that. There's only two of us, so that's going to be tough to maintain. But there you go, early breakaway. Let's see how it goes. Any other classification points to be contested today? Well, we're within four kilometres of the first intermediate sprint. Looks like one of these three are going to do it. We'll obviously get them to accelerate for the intermediate sprint. Hopefully that'll work out well. Uh, and actually, I'm going to... I'm going to let Bennett do his own thing. For once, we're going to make sure that we get Van Aert as many of the points as possible. I suppose we could try and get Groner Vegan back into it. How's he placed? Not too bad. What about Van Aert? He's pretty near the front. So, you know, he usually looks after himself, doesn't he? So, breakaways losing ground. Let's uh, get ourselves pushed up forward base, a little guys. bit. Prepare for the intermediate sprint. Come on, Groner Vegan. The peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. Because, you know, he's going to be absolutely dead in the... Uh, in the mountain stages. So... Right, let's get Van Air to... How far are we? Follow attacks. Okay, I'll follow any attack. Needs to get himself well placed. He was well placed. Uh, and you can see Rochlik is there he as is well. The winner of the intermediate sprint. There's a one meter line, or oh, one kilometer line, sorry. And we're going to go now with the head of the race is one and a half minutes lead on the with Peloton. Vegan. looks good for him. Get over to Van Aert. Watch out. You're not going to be able to attack. How many points can we get? Well, that's 13. So that's a couple of points. That's not too bad. Wait for the following group. Uh, we want Groner Vegan to do the same. And then let's get back on with uh, Bennett and see how he can... Get on now. So we've got a minute 56 to the peloton, so looking pretty good at the moment. You ride so that your teammate doesn't catch up and make it too many up front. Well, the borders, you can see them. You can see how windy it is. This is going to be tough. But we are coming out the other side of it now. His teammates have a handle on things for the overall standings. It will be difficult to increase the gap. I mean, we're only 30 seconds ahead of the peloton now. It's whether we even bother staying ahead at this rate. But uh, we'll get everybody to take their blue feed. Okay, I'll consume a feed. The feed zone is coming up. Yeah, it does look like we are going to drop back in. To hold off the so, yeah, here they come. We are waiting for them now. So, break away all that. And, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be fairly uneventful for the rest of the stage. So, I'll see you at the, uh, at the intermediate sprint the right all at the end. Together. Everything will be played out in the final kilometers. So, okay. we're I'll within 10 kilometers now. We need to get Van Aert to the front. Try and get some more green jersey points. Now, of course, we don't want to be exposed to the wind for, for too long. But we're not far away from the, the wind zone ending. You can see clearly where the trees are. That's where we're going to be fine. 
So I'm going to use some blue gel just to catch us up a little bit with that. And that is the five kilometre mark coming up. So we're in a decent position here. Definitely are. Just five. Right. So. Well, Rog looked looking pretty tired, so. Let's just. Keep him pretty. Four kilometers. Get ready to sprint. We must win to secure the green jersey. There you go. I'll go full out on the relay. Use the rest of our blue gel. Guys, the final straight is a kilometre and a half long. It's a wide road, and so it's perfect for a sprint. Three kilometres to go. Yeah, I'm gonna just say persist without limit for Rogelik. It's it's not worth losing. Okay, I'll consume him a for feed. Around here, coming towards the, the kilometre line. Is in sight for the front of the race. Last kilometre. Here we go. Go, go. Come on. He's nearly there. He's nearly done it. He has done it. Absolutely brilliant. Three in a row for Vaniat. That is absolutely fantastic. Um. And it looks like those guys are in the peloton, so they finish nice and easily. So once again, Van Aert winning another stage. He has been absolutely brilliant so far in this Tour de France. And there's plenty of our guys up there as well uh, that are, are doing a fantastic job. And uh, Van Aert increases the gap. Ladies and gentlemen, applaud him loudly. Here is the winner of the Tour Chateau stage. He found a way to master his rivals in order to raise his arms in victory. Congratulations to him for this high flying performance. He will climb onto the podium to receive his jersey and a kiss from the hostesses. Here's the yellow jersey of this Tour de France. Van Aert. He's in sparkling form, and you can clap him loudly. Here's the green jersey. We can say that I mean, he will clap. absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. That is what we wanted. Well done, lads. Congratulations to you. We were amongst the outsiders, but you managed to beat the favourites. Well done for this win. We retain the yellow jersey. It's a perfect day. Grona Vegan actually managed to be up there as well, which is really, really good. Uh, so let's move forward. You can see he's now got a 27-second lead over Evan Apoe. Uh, you've got uh, Roglic as well up there. Bennett up to ninth now. Um, and the green jersey, 101 points is the lead. For Van Aert, so that is fantastic. And let's have a preview of what's coming next. It's a fairly long one. 251 kilometers. It's going to be tough. But uh, that's all for the next episode. So if you have enjoyed that, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for more Tour de France content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.